Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today I'm glad to introduce you guys to Munglo Bay. This one is a brand new indie adventure game that has just been released and I'm really really happy to jump into it and explore it a little bit here. Just because I've been following this game for about one or two months or so and ever since I discovered this game on my Twitter feed I was really intrigued because this game looks absolutely amazing and this game is also going to have this super duper looking uh, voxel style to it. Uh, something that we've already been exploring a little bit on Echo Generation, the game that we've been really enjoying on this channel lately and this one is going to be a little bit different of course this one is definitely not going to have the same style of uh, turn-based combat but uh, this one is going to be a more of a chill game uh, something that we're going to be able to really take it easy here and uh, enjoy every single second of it so if you guys have never heard about this game and are really curious to see what it's all about make sure you also stick around to the end of this video because i do have a special surprise and that being said um, before we jump into this one let me just take a quick moment here to thank developers for providing a review copy to share the game with you all and i really hope you guys are going to enjoy this one because i'm pretty sure i'm going to have an absolute blast with this one and that being said sit back everybody make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this and uh, let's just see what the world of moon glow bay is all about let's do this Right. So uh, this is the point where we're going to be able to, as usual, choose our character, the one we want to play with, who you are. Uh, I love it that they have so many types of characters. Look at this. Even an elderly person. Huh. I absolutely love this. And you know what? I think I'm going to go with this guy. I, I don't know. I really like his look. He looks really cool. So yeah, let me just go with this fella. All right. Where are your pronouns? Uh, she, they... He. Let's go with he. So, of course, as you can imagine, the game here has she, if you are a girl, of course, and planning to play this game, and he, if you are a boy. But also, they have a day, which means you can actually play this game with a friend in couch co-op. And that is really cool about this. I absolutely love that games start introducing co-op, couch co-op, so that we can enjoy these games with friends. So, of course, if you do have a friend, make sure he's going to join you and uh, enjoy this adventure together. So, uh, of course, I'm going to go with he here. All right, what's your name? Uh, let's set the name. Wait, how do I? Can I set it? Stanton. There we go. I mean, I love it. All right, who's your partner? I mean, I don't really have like a partner because I'm not gonna play with anybody here. I'm just gonna play on my own. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Casey. Yeah, let's go with Casey. All right. What are your partner's pronouns? I'm going to go with she, I guess. There we go. Uh, you can also go ahead and edit if you want to, but I'm just going to start the game just like that. All right, and we started. Oh man, but the character that I chose, he looks even older than, <laughs> than on the picture though. Voxelized like this definitely looks a little bit older. <laughs> hey, Santin, come on, you goopy. Uh, grab a line. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Uh, nothing, except for the water, the monsters, the curse. You know what the locals say? Yeah, they're just stories. Every one of them, I yeah. promise. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. First, stand in the decent fishing spot, like at the edge of the boat, right here. Then, select the fish and hook until they begin. Uh, I can't even begin actually. So all you gotta do is just uh, sit on the edge and just oh. hit on that. Now to cast the line, fish will be more cautious if you cast near the boat. Uh, but the further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Right. Press and hold to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Ah, I get it now. Perfect. Now be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. <laughs> The moment the lure dips under, press and hold RT uh, to look for the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Once hooked, continue holding RT to reel it in. Um. Ah. But I don't see nothing coming my way, so let me try to cast this one more time. Because apparently I didn't do it right. Let me cast it all the way back there. I mean, am I supposed to just wait for the fish to show up? Of course, if you guys don't know about this game, this game is going to have a lot of fishing that we're going to be able to do. Come on, buddy. Bite again. I think I was supposed to 
reel that in as soon as he... Uh, dang it. Seriously, am I supposed to just wait? Apparently, fishing is not going to be that easy in this game, eh? Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Uh, fish will change direction as they try to break free. Uh, I didn't manage to read what she was saying, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here, buddy. Uh -huh. So you got to choose the opposite direction if you want to reel it in. I get it, I get it. I can't understand how this works, though. And it's also kind of showing us. There we go. We got the grating billyfish. 31 kilograms. Seriously, that's a huge one. <laughs> See? Easy way to get the hang. Give it another go. This time, without my help. All right, I mean, you don't really help that much. <laughs> I kind of figured out what I'm supposed to do. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm supposed to throw this a little bit further. I forgot to hold on uh, A a little bit longer as I throw this. So let me hold it on more. There we go. Much better like that. All right, and all I got to do now is just wait for the fishies to bite, I guess. Look at that. We got one. Awesome. All right, he's trying to pull me on that side. I'm supposed to keep on going. Now this side. I mean, it's pretty easy, yeah. All we got to do is just uh, look at the direction the fish is pointing at and try to point the opposite direction to pull it in. Right, now we got to pull it down. Pull it to the right, and we should be done. There we go. Look at that. Another one. 23 kilograms. Huh. Fantastic. And a different species. We need a variety to cook uh, to sell for our new business. Oh, what's... What the... What was that? What is happening? The monster's in the lake? What the... What is that? Is that like a well? <laughs> the thing is, we're not really looking at it, so we didn't really see it. It's the monster! The curse! Come to torment us! <laughs> it's, it's just a well. Hmm, this town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Huh. But the base full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the world. On that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure. Hmm. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night, uh, once you're back. Huh. You still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Oh. Of course, moving here, it's a dream. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? Mm -hmm. My dream hasn't changed in 40 years, to spend every day with you. Then I'll be right here, the whole journey by your sides. Welcome home. There we go. Man, the look of this town though, the Moonglow Bay, looks really good. I love it. I, I cannot wait to start exploring every single one of those buildings and meet all the characters of this game. Three years later. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? No, are we alone? I wonder what happened to her though. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, we gotta find out what happened, though. We definitely have to find out. I mean, look at our place. We do have a small house here. Uh, hold up. Can I maybe check on the photo again? It's not really allowing me, no. Oh, did I just fast... Hold up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I have no idea how I went down here. Who's that? The River Fisher. Hey, Dad. Oh. River? Why aren't you in Quebec? I get my notice. Some things are more important. Hmm. Is this it? Presumption of the fermentation believed to be dead, owing to the absence of no less than three years. Whoa, it's also real. Hmm. 
It's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Sentinel Festival. Oh. You're doing what here in Munglo Bay? Yeah, the mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community. And people need the support. The whole bay has been struggling for years. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed oh. down. If it can't attract new visitors soon, Munglo Bay might never recover. Anyway, on to higher things. It's time you open that present. Oh, the present I guess my wife gave me, right? But I wonder what it is. Huh? Hey, Dad, why did you call the dog Waffles? What? Wait, let me guess. Because of how much Casey loved oh. Waffles? Uh, but not as much as me, remember? Every Saturday, right after swimming, maple syrup, cinnamon, strawberries, glass of milk. Ah, those were the good times. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Interesting. Now, where is the present, though? Can I find the present maybe back upstairs or... Oh, is it that one? Oh, yes, it is. Um, hmm. uh -huh. A fishing journal. Uh -huh. So my darling Stanton, for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years, Dad. Maybe it is time you write a new chapter. Uh -huh. You're saying I should restart the business? Uh -huh. Precisely. A new street food stall is exactly what this town uh -huh. needs. It should be an inspiration. We should head out right now. Catch some ingredients. Hmm. Okay, okay, but uh, let me tidy things up. If I know you were coming. And we're in the surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll be down on the beach. Uh, no way, look at this. This is gonna be our task, of course. It's gonna make it very easy for us to kind of know what we're supposed to do next. Uh, our next mission is gonna be a color from Quebec. Hi, Casey. It's been three years. Some days are a little easier. Others are impossible. Last week, a letter arrived declaring you dead I'm sent to ya. So naturally, our daughter dropped everything to come here. Thank for your journal. I'll treasure it always and write you often. Hmm, so this is more like a journal that we're writing here. I love it. Our daughter has suggested I restarted the street food business. I know a great little spot to cast some ingredients. All right, and next up, uh, tidy the little packets. I suppose it doesn't empty the little packets. is a fascinating look to, to look in the house. Uh, so there's going to be eight of them that I'm supposed to go ahead and clean up. Oh, wait, you know what? These tasks that I see right here, they also have like a timer. I mean, these ones that I have right now, they don't have a timer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that some of them will. Interesting. So these are all the fishes that we're going to be collecting and other items as well. Uh, these are going to be the recipes. Uh, these are going to be the catches, I guess, that we're adding to our collection book, I guess. And this is probably going to be like a map. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. But I absolutely love this so far. Having a quest book, it's going to be so good. All right, buddy. Uh, let me clean up the place then. Uh, garbage. Task updated. There we go. Oh my god, look at all these Chinese boxes. Oh my god, so many takeouts. Alright, is that it? I don't even know. Let's check. Uh, so if I go into the task... 5 out of 8, so there's definitely gonna have to be a few more around somewhere. Uh, let's tidy that up. Task completed. I mean, these are definitely not the Chinese takeouts. These are just papers lying around everywhere on the floor. Okay, that's the last of it. The trash can's outside, since you clearly forgot Fisher. <laughs> Alright, uh, is there anything else at the top that I'm supposed to grab, though? Nah, it doesn't really look like it. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Alright, and am I supposed to just go outside and place the trash? Hey, buddy. <laughs> there we go. All right, task completed. Love it. Oh, wait, is that a raccoon? <laughs> what was that? Uh, your items. Ah, so we're placing our fishies in here. I get it. Interesting. That's kind of a uh, cooler, I'm guessing, right? Hmm. All right, so let's see. What are we supposed to do here? Wait, this is not... Yeah, this is not my daughter here. You, you want to know about strange and evil fish, right? Check out the wandering Kennebec. I've seen fish. And that ain't no fish. That thing is a potato, which makes it a vegetable and a liar. <laughs> fish updates. Wait, what? Huh. Apparently, I just got myself some information about some other fishes. Oh my god, but there's so gonna be so many, apparently, that we gotta find. Hmm. So, where's my daughter? I don't see her by the ship, so I'm not quite sure exactly where she went off to. 
Uh, how do I get up here? Oh, gods. No, I want to get back up. Can I... Can I please get back up? I have no idea how to get back up here. Oh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> Look at old wildlife, though. That is so cool. We have so many broken down areas, though. Felix. Whoa, kind of chilly today, right? Take care out there. Hmm. Yeah, this place looks really breaking down. And I have a feeling I may need to fix it up somehow eventually. Uh, apparently, my puppy... <laughs> I think he actually got stuck in there. I'm not going to be able to uh, get him back to me. If you are out on the waves, beware of the micro seal created when cruel water sprite cursed and a harmless sea cucumber. By transforming into a shrimp, sounds more like a promotion. <laughs> right, where's my puppy though? Yeah, I think he's stuck in there. Alright, anyway, uh, let me see if I can find my daughter. I have no idea where she is. Hold up, let me check. Let me see where she is. Um, a caller from Quebec. Meet River at the big at the beach. So where is the beach? Can I look at the map? I mean, it doesn't like we have a map. Maybe that's why we cannot really check. Uh, hmm. I mean, this is the beach, yeah. Yep, yeah, it is. Look at that. You're right. The streets are so empty. I barely noticed before. The town needs investments, pure and simple. But at least, you have everything we need for the business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. Yeah. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. Hmm. And by the looks of it, we are actually catching it right over here on the beach. Awesome. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves a few fishies then. We most definitely need to get ourselves a, a few fishies around. Come on, buddy. There we go. By ruling, you can use a quick burst of effort to hold the fish in a particular direction. How do you do that? This technique is called striking. To strike, move uh, against the direction of the fish and press LT. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, how do you do that? Just don't strike too often or you'll tire yourself out. Whoa, nearly! Once more! Alright, so let me pull it in. Ah, there we go. No, don't tire myself out, buddy. Come on, 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 come on. Let me go with that section. And a little bit like that. Ah, I get it. So that's much better. Look at that. We got a new species. 26 kilograms. All right, so I understand how this works now. Yes, yes, I know. It's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a bloody marine biologist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Since we're here, let's recap what a behavior and luring. When ruling a fish, you will behave in one of three ways depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wiggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength to escape. Finally, resilient species are slow moving but strong. It'll take several pause strikes to hold one in. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish by uh, using lures. Give it a go. Select a lure and cast your line. Hmm. All right, so to select the, rule, the lure, uh, I'm supposed to press on... Ah, there we go, this one. The jig lure will attract aggressive and resilient fish. The spinner lure will attract fast and aggressive fish. And finally, the plug lure will attract resilient and fast fish. Remember to catch which lure you're using, whatever you cast. Hmm. Um, I mean, I, I hope I'm gonna remember all this because you guys know I'm playing a lot of games, which means uh, I'm kind of jumping from one game to the other and uh, trying to remember everything that you gotta do in all these games that I'm uh, exploring. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me at least. Uh, let me go with the plug lure, I guess. I mean, this one is saying the balance lure. Spinner jig. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go with the jig, I guess, and throw. All right, let me try to get myself yet another fishy here. And we got it. Oh my god, that was so fast. Are you kidding me? A pola. Look at that. Perfect. Finally, a word of bait. A word on bait, actually. Um, baiting your line is essential to catching large species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you will attract small species. If you cast with low grade bait, you will attract small and medium species. And finally, if you cast with high grade bait, you will attract medium and large species. Try now. 
Select a lure and bait grade and cast your line again. All right, uh, let me go with a spinner lure, I guess, and a high bait. I have none, actually. Let me go with the low bait and the plug. All right, let's see how this goes. Come on, buddy. Man, this is so fun. I cannot wait to also unlock myself the... Come on, buddy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, the map so that I kind of know better where I'm going. Look at that, 13 kilos, the link. Huh. Excellent, remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there. So mix it up, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a different variety. Uh, just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful, you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Whoa, stop the press. Santa Fisher is out of the house before midday. Mm -hmm. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Hey. Of course. What brings you to our shady little burn? Uh, wait, Santa, is that... You finally opened it. Yeah, it's just a fishing journal. Casey and I had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business. I'm selling street food straight from the ocean. Santa, you are, you are gonna... Oh my god, that is awesome. Nice, thanks, Abby. Sorry, sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna peddle pestilent cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada, I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Man, I love it. Of course, because we just started the game, we're just going through kind of like the tutorial here, trying to learn how to play the game, and then it's gonna be just uh, on our own. We're just gonna be on our own, trying to figure out what we gotta do next. Uh, okay, Santa, if you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things, raw fish and the recipe, and enough shells to, to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. <laughs> Collect the recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. Alright. Um, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to choose one of these two, right? Uh, but this one, it doesn't look like I can, so I'm gonna go with this one. Ah, we can choose the fishies we want to use. How many? Um, does it matter how many I use? Or maybe the amount I use, I'm gonna make more foods? I don't even know. Gotta just lose four, I guess, whatever. Let's just see how that goes. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredients you need to source are the fish, of course. Okay, first go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Huh. All right, let me go to the fridge. Let me grab the ingredients. Now move to the different station and around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its, and its sell value. Ah, all right. So next up, we got to wash the uh, fish, of course. Washing. Move left to right and up to follow the markers and rinse the ingredients. Ah, we got to stay up to this thing. I get it. I love it. <laughs> so cooking here is not going to be as easy as you guys might think. Uh, we do have to kind of work in order to do this. Next up, we gotta chop it, so we gotta go here. Oh god, wait, what? Ah, I get it, chopping. Press when the marker is in on each hit zone to chop. Aha, uh -huh. all right, I got it, I got it. Next up, we gotta boil it, so we gotta go here. Uh, boiling, move to keep the water at the correct temperature. That makes sense as well. No, 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 no! Jesus, that is hard! All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got a green, that's good. Next up, we got a fried, which is gonna be still here. Uh, hold. Hold and release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Ah, uh, this makes so much sense. All right, next up, bake, which is still gonna be here. Uh, tap, press when the marker reaches the hit zone. Aha. Uh -huh. Again, really easy. Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, can I go ahead and cook another one? Yeah, let me try to cook another one. Why not? And I'm going to use this one that we got. Just because I'm curious how this is going to look. Uh, without anybody telling me what to do. So, we got the washing. All I got to do is just make sure I follow this thing. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Go on green. I want to make it perfect. There we go. Perfect. All right, next up, chop. There we go. Perfect. Uh, next up, it's boil. 
This one is a little bit more difficult. I think this one is the most difficult out of all of them so far. There we go. We got it. Perfect. Frying is going to be like hold and release. And this one's going to be like tap in when I reach that section. There we go. That was a perfect one. Five star. Awesome. Hey. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meal out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. Aha. Uh -huh. That was so good. All right, we got all the tasks completed so far. Uh, we also have a new task, apparently. And I'm pretty sure that the new task is me going on and putting the uh, food, I guess, in here. Right? Wait, did I just take it out? <laughs> Perfect. Here, you will sell all the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day. And the shells you earn will be transferred right to your account. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, so I'm guessing in return for all these things that we're selling here, we're getting shells. And the shells is probably the currency that we're going to be able to use in order to maybe purchase more things and upgrade our shop. Hmm, this old box is very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Harugato runs a tech shop. He'll give you a gold deal or a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat with Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about the fish species and filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. Santin, are you really serious about this? No one's been out on these waters for uh, three years. I know, since Casey. I know. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there. And we both know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I'll be okay, trust me. So, Sarah, Haru, and Marina. I'll see you soon. Oh, man, I love it. And look at that. We got so many tasks that we got to go ahead and do. Love it. Let me check it out. Let me see what we got to do next. So, um, craft, raft, and craft. <laughs> love it. Task being tracked. Uh, so, this one is River Recons. I should pick up where we left off and restart the business. Abigail thinks that the idea is hilarious, of course, but you know what she's like. Laugh at the first, uh, then help out any way she can. To get started, I would suggest that we speak to Marina, Harry, and Sarah. All right, so this is what we got to do. We got to meet all these ones and uh, go ahead and speak with all of them. All right, then. In that case, let's see uh, who these are. Mrs. Chips. Oh, hi. Uh, you must be the owner of that delightful yellow pup. Yeah, Waffles. He's a Nova Scotia duck uh, tolling retriever. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. I'm standing, by the way. I run a small street food business. In fact, I'm looking for a new customer. Is there anything you'd like to try? Absolutely, but nothing too rich or spicy. How about steamed fish, just like they made in Malaysia? Thank you very much. Oh, wait, did I just get myself? So I don't have these items that uh, she's requesting. Me? Wait, where are those things? Did I already sell them? I don't even know. So these are the items, but I don't have anything in my inventory here. Aha, uh -huh, so these are fish cakes. I get it. So she requested something from me that I'm supposed to go ahead and do, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Claude. Have you had a chance to stop by my street food stall? Nah, I'm just really interested in the fact of fancy seasoning and spice. Oh, there's plenty of options. What's your favorite dish? Mm, crab rice. Rice and crab in a bowl, nice and simple. Crab fishing was Philly's passion and gardening and storytelling. Okay, crab rice it is. I'll whip up a batch and see you soon. Ah, there we go. So we gotta figure out how to do these things before I'm gonna give it uh, to them. Interesting. All right, well in that case, can I actually go ahead and start doing a little bit of fishing? Oh my God, walking on these um, ports feels a little bit difficult. Let me see if I can cast my line here to uh, try to catch some fishies. Because I definitely want to start getting myself also some of those uh, recipes done. If I can. Whoa, that was fast. Look at that. I think this guy is also a new species. And you know what? All the way to the top right corner there, there's also a time of day. So I'm pretty sure that this game is going to have uh, night and day cycles. Pretty sure about it, yeah. Nope. Come on, buddy. Almost there. What the? I messed it up. I should have. Uh, never mind. I think I know. I think I kind of understand how this works now. I'm supposed to only drag it towards me when I'm pulling down. Oh, I just noticed I made some money. I think somebody bought some of that food that I made. Are you serious? That was pretty sweet. 
You know what? Now that we got these two fishies, let me see if I can actually go ahead and cook. Oh, she left. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let me see if I can actually cook that food, the uh, specific food that they requested. So, uh, this is the whole fish. Seasoned, baked, and served whole. Uh, fish and chips, and this one is the fish cake. I think the guy actually requested boiled lobster, but of course we don't really have that, right? Or maybe he actually requested this one instead. Yeah, the crab rice, but I don't have any of this. I need a crab in order to do it. Interesting. Hey, you know what? Let me just go ahead and cook this one, first of all. So, first of all, we gotta go ahead and grab the fish. Wash it. Which is going to be very easy. All I gotta do is make sure I stick with this thing. Wash it thoroughly. And simply fry it. That is so easy. There we go. I'm pretty sure multiple recipes are gonna be more and more difficult as we keep on going here. Oh, this is a different side of the house that we can exit. I didn't know that. Hey, River, know any other tips to improve my fishing? Nah, just the basics. Keep rolling. Pull when they change direction and strike to hold them in. Just remember, fish will be more cagey if you cast close to the boat or the shore. If you want them to bite sooner, make sure you cast long out in the open. Yeah, I know that. Alright, let me go in front of my house again and put... Your items. I mean, how do I put these in here? I don't even know. Hmm. I mean, they are in there already, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are in there already. If I go in my inventory... Actually, no. These ones are in my backpack. So I can go ahead and put them in here. And now if I check this, it's probably going to be filled up with those things, right? That I can go ahead and sell. All right, let me keep on looking around. Apparently, uh, do I have a map still or not? No. Hmm. We gotta find a map somewhere so that I can figure out where I'm supposed to go next. Uh, hello, darling. So you're investigating unusual fish? You must seek out Old Bale, the notorious balloon-like beast that upsets children. It does? Why is he frightening? Oh, no, dear. It's adorable. They're sad when it floats away. <laughs> Alright, we got another quest done. Bungalow is so full of strange stories, Stanton. Try talking to people around town. Will do. Ah, Stanton, Fisher, your street food is uh, the talk of the town. Yeah, thanks. Business seems to be on a steady rise. Perhaps I could interest you in something? My treat. What's your favorite? Oh, I haven't had tuna sashimi in a long time. Say no more. Next time we meet, I'll change that. Alright, so we know what we gotta do for her. Hey, if you're interested in weird fish, check out the zebras. Unmistakable. Looks like, looks just like a zebra. Same stripes, tail fins, the same fins as a zebra. <laughs> I know we're right. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, you know what? Let me try to cast a bait. Can I cast a bait, please? Let me go with um the spinner, I guess. And again, this bait. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's see how this goes. It is 5.30 already, and I kind of noticed the nighttime coming. There we go. We got it. That was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. Let me try to catch another one. Look at that. Our clams are increasing as we are actually working here. Uh, the things that we put in the shop, they are selling, which is really good. Whoa, the glowing shore. That was awesome. I don't even know if you can eat that, but uh, still, I'm gonna take it. All right, let me chat with these fellas around. Hey. hey, what are you doing? Heard you're on the lookout for unusual species. Then mind yourself on a blister back boxer, disgusting creature. Uh, community is by spilling gas from its own, you know where. Wouldn't want to be stuck in the elevator with one. <laughs> hmm. ah, the new angler, pro tip. Keep on peeled for the Tempest Sun. Cast just one, and it'll grant you seven uh, years good luck. Will do. Have you ever got one? Yeah, but then I broke a mirror. Canceled it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we got here? I definitely have to find myself some crabs, though. Oh, look at this. We found Sarah. Sarah Johnson. Hey, Stanton. Um, Fisher. 
And hello to you, Sarah. <laughs> Johnson, been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler? Exactly, the two cats. Yeah. Seriously, I thought it was making a joke. Clearly, not a very funny one. In that case, uh, let me find your paperwork. Yeah. The two cats, yes. Uh, clogged fuel pump and the intake valve is yeah. shut. Uh, for three years storage, you got off easy. Yeah. It'll be a hundred for the repairs. You can pay once you finish the work. Uh -huh. A hundred, are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry, uh, it's the least for yeah. Casey. Just give me a little time to finish up and I'll be in touch once the repairs are, are complete. Hmm. I mean, did I have a hundred to give to her? I don't think I did. Boat shop. Any port in storm six? Uh, I think it's closing down, right? Actually, no. It's open till ten. It just closed down, or maybe not. Never mind. Right. Reese Lark. How can I help you? Ah, look at this. We can actually buy stuff from here. A quick repair to mend any superficial damage. At least uh, get you back on the waters. And a full service. No matter its uh, current state, it'll have your troll hanging. As good as new. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need a hundred to pay in order to fix it completely, oh. which of course we don't have just yet. What about the mission? Oh. Can I go with the mission? Take care out there on the shallows. I can patch up the boats just fine. Patching up people, that's a physician's job. <laughs> Alright, so apparently they need to fix up my boat before I'm gonna be able to go in the water and start catching bigger fishes, I guess. I mean, I really need to get myself a map to try to kind of understand what I'm going here. Oh, the new angler, they say they're on the lookout for a strange and terrible fish. They say that there's one stranger than the couch potato. They see a lot, don't they? Did they happen to say where to look? They say to search the ocean. Great. Tell them thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's really helpful, buddy. Ah, I think we just reached the aquarium. Hey, welcome. Apologies, the aquarium isn't open for visitors. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. At your service. Wait, Stanton, right? Casey's husband? Casey was the soul of this place, the only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognized the potential of both the aquarium and Moon Glow. Potential? For what? To be famous. There are countless species out there unique of these waters. Just a handful will make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. With a little investment, we could study the whole aquatic biome, turn this arctic town of myths and monsters into a hub of science progress. But when Casey vanished, those dreams vanished too. Um, how can I help? I'm fishing for my seafood business anyway. I could continue where Casey left off. Whoa, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you yeah. can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more new visitors will attract. Business across town would also benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost your sales. Great! Where do I start? To begin, just bring me three new species, any three you can find. Ah, no way! And not only that we're gonna be able to, of course, find fishes for ourselves, start cooking them and making new recipes and food to sell, but we also have to bring new species in here. Interesting. All right, let me give her some species because we do have a few, right? How do I do that though? I don't even know. Hold up, let me check the book. So bring three species to the aquarium. Fish donation zero out of three. Um, I don't know how to give it to anybody here. Do I just interact with this and put him in? I don't even know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe the aquarium is closed. That's why I'm unable to put anything inside. How do I do that? Hmm. You cannot cross through that side. Yeah, because this lady that I, I just talked to, she's not here anymore. Yeah, you know what? I think it's closed. That's why I'm unable to do anything anymore. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to go to sleep and then I'm gonna come back here. Stanton, solve a mystery for me. What did you call your boat? The two cats. <laughs> oh, that was just a joke between me and Casey. The first time we went sailing, we thought we were the coolest cats on the waves. Ah, <laughs> Casey, you must have learned so much from him. He was one of the best anglers I've ever seen. Uh, I'm guessing he, uh, he wanted to say she. <laughs> because Casey was a she. And really cared about the long-term health and uh, conservation of the bay. Yeah, we both do. Sustainable fishing will always be a cornerstone, a cornerstone in the business. Mm -hmm. On that note, is there anything I can fix uh, you for lunch? It's on me. Sure, I'll take your finest fish burger, please. Responsibly sauced. <laughs> Naturally. 
All right. Hey, Mr. Fisher, good to see you. So nothing for this girl. What about this guy? Greetings, fellow angler. Know you the mighty devourer. That fiend will gobble up your whole wardrobe whole. Really? It eats planks of mahogany? No, I mean your outfits, your clothes. Small articles, anyway. Uh, what I'm saying is, it wants ate a sock, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, look at that. We updated the fish uh, god as well a little bit more. Alright, so of course, I'm not gonna be able to put any fishes in here until I'm gonna be able to uh, reset the day, yes. Oh, are you the maniac studying all the fish? Don't believe the legend. Wait till you see the primate pincher. Half crustacean, half primate, half utter from beyond the veil. Not that you'll listen to reason. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Um, what's happening? So I don't want to do anything just yet in here. You know what? I think what I'm supposed to do is just make my way back home. Reset the day as it is pretty late outside. How are you doing gathering those three different species? Working on it. I can fish from the pier, but I'm a hopeless mariner. You don't need to point that on irony. Oh, we can donate the fishes to her right now. Look at that. So it's gonna be this one and this one. Submit. Oh, thanks. There we go. This means we can actually go ahead and uh, get ourselves one more. And if I do manage to catch me one more fish and donate it, I think that's gonna be done with the quest, right? But by the looks of it, I cannot really fish anything anymore. Actually, we can't here, yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you can only fish on these spots that allow you to fish. Come on, fishy. I need the new species. All right. This guy's going to come right side, left side. Come on, buddy. Go down. Doesn't want to go down, though. There we go. Got him. And I think I can also go ahead and uh, deliver this one as well. Let's go really fast and do that before she leaves. I got it. Don't worry about it. Let's see if I can donate it. So donate and this one. Submit. There we go. Fantastic. This place is finally coming alive. I can't wait to tell Olivia. At this rate, I'll need to buy a whole new wing. So this is the only beginning, right? You'll need more? Absolutely. Lots more. This is an ongoing enterprise. Remember when we're helping the whole community? Every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in your vending machine. Plus, as personal thank you, I'll provide all the information I can for the journal. Facts, fishing tips, plus any interesting folklore I come across. Mongolo Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades, but with your help, we turn this ailing town into a beacon of progress. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. Oh, man, that was so good! Anything else I can do for you? Uh, besides bringing new recipe, uh, species, nah, not for the aquarium. It's all admin and permits now. I need to create space for new tanks to emulate the biomes of the mm -hmm. bay. Maybe I could fix you lunch? Pick up a dish? Your favorites? Oh, I haven't had grilled octopus in absolute ages. Grilled octopus? No problem. Coming right up. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm going to find that one. I'm going to have to find the octopus first before I'm going to be able to, to give it to her. Interesting. Alright then, well in that case, you know what? It is uh, quite late outside. Oh, not right now. Another time perhaps. I have more clues for you. All right, so as I was saying, it is pretty late outside. Let me go ahead and get myself some sleep. And then we carry on with the journey and see what else we got to do. I'm a little bit lost, though. Where's my house? It should be right here. There you go, buddy. Man, it has been quite a day, though. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if I do hit the bed... Yes, look at that. We can go to sleep. Let's set the alarm for... Let's go with 6 a.m. Oh, look at that. I'm loving the animations, though. This game is so good. All right, buddy. Hold up. I'm coming. I'm coming. It is a brand new day, and we have so much more work to do here. It is crazy. Uh, I wonder if I gotta give my puppy some food from time to time, though, because it doesn't look like we gotta take care of him or anything. Not even enough for ourselves, of course. All we gotta do is just uh, make sure we fill our, um... Make sure we fill our store here with food. But of course, we're gonna have to do so much fishing, it's crazy. Sorry, kinda busy right now. Let's talk later. Hmm. Alright then, I guess. Uh, here, I guess, the first. I wanna make my way to this point on the map. 
uh, to try to unlock it. Hey, Santin, I got one for your journal, the ghostly swordfish. Outstanding! What's the ghost about? All sorts, it's red eyes, it's haunted expression, plus it gives everyone the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> okay, for now, I'm just gonna put the name. <laughs> Man, we're adding so many to our uh, journal here, I love it. So, the mission that we're looking for is gonna be right over here, but the thing is, I, I do have 100 coins, right, to fix up my boats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Ah, uh, Mr. Fisher, a very good day to see you. Uh, if you're looking for amusing neutral tales, I have one. So, stop fishing. <laughs> Alright, buddy, hold up. Where's the mission? Hmm. Hi, Mr. Grado. I run a small business and I'm gouging interest in different recipes. You seem like someone who knows a lot of people. What are you implying? Uh, nothing, just saying that you knew everything in town. Nothing untoward. Hmm, I don't usually care for seafood, but perhaps I could sample your surf and turf? <laughs> sure, no problem. Happy to oblige. Awesome. Uh, thanks, but maybe in a short while, I remember we'll bring you some tuna sesame. Or s there we go. So we know that we gotta bring her that, but how am I supposed to... Oh, there we go. This is the one. Uh, go to tech. Real-time solutions. Uh -huh. ah, there we go, we made it inside. Ah, Stanton, long time no see. What can I help you with, buddy? Selling fish? Fish? Hmm, yeah, fish. Uh, why are you whispering? Oh, uh, it's just been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? Uh, not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. Oh, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed pull event. A vending machine? For seafood? Absolutely! My dad ordered a few on a special import. But with half of the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving uh, tricky to shift. Hmm, tell you what, hook up and bring me a simple fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount on the display model. Sounds more like a cooking lunch discount, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so we know what we gotta do. Apparently, this fella uh, needs me to kick him a little bit of a uh, lunch here. And then he's gonna give me that thing for a discount, I guess. So let me see if I can actually go ahead and do that real fast. Um, let me do it right over here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. And throw. I'm curious what's the price gonna be on it though, because at the moment we only have 121. Oh god, this guy is fighting a little bit. No, 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 no. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We got this. And pull. 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 Man, this one put up uh, quite a fight, eh? That was pretty sick. All right, and now that we got... Actually, you know what? Let me get myself one more fishy. Why not? Because if I do get myself one more fishy, I'm going to be able to put it in the store so that we can sell it and get even more of those shells. Got. I got to wait. I got to wait. I pull in way too fast. You gotta wait for the fish to bite completely and then pull it in. Yeah, just like that. There we go. We got a link. All right, and another one. It's gonna be. There we go. A new species, the slicing tail. I think I'm gonna save this one for the aquarium. And because that one's gonna be for the aquarium, let me just get myself another one somewhere around here. There you go, buddy. And another new species. Are you serious? Come on. I mean, it's cool that we're getting so many new species because I want to add a few of them to the aquarium. But I also need a few of them for myself to start making, uh, getting my store, of course, ready. There we go, a new Pollock. So this one is something that we didn't have before. Actually, we did have before. So, next up, let me make my way back home. See if I can actually get some fish and chips done. Oh, so many customers! What's with all these kitties here? <laughs> or more, those are more like dogs, actually. Never mind. Uh, do we have a fish in here that we can get back with us? Let me see what we got. So, first of all, I gotta start cooking. And I think I'm gonna make the fish... Fish and chips? Yeah, which is which is this one. The fish and chips. And for this one, I'm going to use... I guess two of these. Hold up. What about this one? This one is the sh sizzling fish. Yeah, let me go with uh, two fishes and chips. Cook. 
Let me grab him from the uh, thingamajig. And we got to chop him first of all, apparently. So we're not washing them? Hmm, interesting. Next up, we got to fry it. There we go. All right, next up, we need potatoes. Uh, we got to chop them. And boil. I mean, we're boiling the chips. Aren't the chips supposed to be fried for fish and chips? Hmm, that's interesting. There we go. We got the fish and chips. All right, next up, we need... Let's see. I'm guessing this is telling me how much money I'm getting if I'm making these uh, fishies, right? These recipes. Uh, link. So we can use the link that we just got here in order to make that recipe up there. So let me go ahead and cook this one real fast. First of all, we gotta grab the fish, wash it up. Man, let me tell you guys, this game is definitely something that can be enjoyed during a live stream. So if you guys would like to see a live stream as I play this, let me know down in the uh, comments below. I would absolutely love to know that. All right, next up we gotta fry it. Oh, I went over it a little bit. Hopefully it's gonna be good. There we go. All right, we got one. Awesome. Uh, I don't want to cook anything anymore though, because the rest of the fishes that I have, I want to deliver those ones to the uh, aquarium. So let me just make my way next up to. Wait, we kind of lost a little bit of our coins here though. But why? Hmm. That is weird. That is very, very weird. Wait, I cannot go inside this place. There we go. Now we did it. Uh, gifts. Wait, isn't she a different person? Take your time. Oh, anything else? Just shout. So these are the things that I'm supposed to grab here, right? Buying and selling. Yeah, look at that. Interesting, but uh, apparently this is a different person here, though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is the guy. And how's our friendly chef? Stuck. This recipe is there a specific fish I need uh, for fish and chips? No, any will do. Just follow the recipe, and I'll be waiting. Give item. Uh, fish and chips. One. Submit. Haru, your fish and chips. Oh, impressive. Let's see. Attractive, uh, plated, well-seasoned, street style. Your presentation is top-notch. The windowed pole event is exactly what you need. It's eye-catching and simple to use. Your customer will happily pay a little extra per dish. Tell you what, I'll deliver the display model straight to your house. It's all yours, no charge. Whoa, that's extremely generous, buddy. Just keep cooking what you're cooking and think of Haru when you need upgrades. Aw, oh, man, that was so good. Hey, boss. Thanks again for the fish and chips. Thank you for the vending machine. Let me know if you'd like to try something a bit more outstanding. Uh, nah, I'm not too keen on seafoods. What about mussels? Nope. Shrimp? Uh, bleh. Lobster? Um, I've never tried lobster. That settles it. An oil boil lobster coming up. And if you don't like it, you'll give me back the vending machine? <laughs> uh, no, but promise to stop making you uh, try new things. <laughs> Alright, so at least now we got another option for him. Uh, we're gonna have to make him more food, apparently. Hey, Stanton. Great to see you. Alright, so we know that that is done. Uh, next up, let me make my way to the marina that it's supposed to be up here somewhere, I think, right? Oh my god, we really need to get ourselves a map because I keep on getting lost here. And I hate it. Where is the marina? Is it here? Yes, it is. Sorry, Marina, I haven't been able to cook you any grilled octopus yet. No problem. Another time, perhaps. Uh, here are the fishies. So it's this one and this one. Submit. Nice. Hopefully, these will uh, rake new visitors. There we go. And look at this. The fishies that we brought, I can already see them in the aquarium. That is so cool. Oh, man, this is so good. All right, and with this one done... Finally, what I'm supposed to do, of course, is make my way over here and pay in order to fix up. Oh, never mind. My boat is already fixed, I think. I don't oh. see it here anymore. What are you after? 
I mean, I don't think I'm after anything because I'm here if you need anything. Yeah, apparently my boat is fixed. Is it? Because I definitely don't see it here anymore. Oh. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do anything, hold up. Before I pay anything, uh, let me check the missions. So bring new species and return to Abbey at the beach. Craft, craft. Oh, actually, you know what? The mission is already done, I think. They automatically took away my money. That's why I uh, don't have that much anymore. All I gotta do now is uh, return to Abbey on the beach. And I think that's gonna be us finishing up the uh, mission. Uh, that's Melorisa, actually. I want another weird fish, the dis disgusting uh -huh. boss. Interesting. What is disgusting itself? Uh, a rock or coral? Oh, oh, waiter. Carries this little plate and everything. Devious. <laughs> Mungalow is full of strange stories, Santin. Try to keep talking to people. Yeah, I know, I know. Hold up. I'm trying to find who I'm supposed to talk to here. Rose, uh, I'm free now, if you want to talk. Mm -hmm. Thanks, but maybe in a short while. And I'll remember to bring that tuna sashimi. Sorry, Mr. Chips. I need a little more time to make the steamed fish. That's fine. I'm sure you'll uh, get to it eventually. Sorry, Suziko. I need a little more time to surf and turf. Oh man, we're gonna have so many foods that we gotta do. <laughs> Success! I recovered the two cats and purchased a shiny new vending machine. And that suddenly makes you Felix Wilson? <laughs> Who? Uh, the angler, famously. So, what now? You attack the bay with a rod and plucky attitude? What? Why? Is there something else I need? A net for starters. Come on, let's show, let me show you. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to be able to use a net to catch even more fishies instead of catching one by one. Net fish is a great way to acquire bait or catch several uh, small fish at once. It's also the only way to catch species that cannot be lured. See these black insects? Those are sand fleas. Sand fleas provide you with low-grade bait, ideal for more fish in the bay. To cast your net, tap on X or more like um, A here on the Xbox to build power, then tap A again to release. Release when your arm are fully extended for a bigger throw. Give it a go. Hmm. Whoa. Uh, now to hold those fleas. Hold RT to drag the net back in and move uh, left to right to guide it through the sand, I guess, right? Wait, what's happening? Is he even pulling? Um, is it stuck? <laughs> I think I got it stuck. Hold up, let me try it again. There we go. Now it works. That was kind of weird. <laughs> All right, look at that. We got ourselves uh, quite a few of them. Keep, 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 and keep. Great. Once more, cast out the reel with those swarms. So in order to cast it right, let me cast it that way. Hopefully I'm not getting it stuck again. There we go. I missed one, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and grab it again if I want to. Oh. Excellent. Feel free to come back and catch more anytime. Every sand flea produces uh, three pieces of low-grade <laughs> bait. And you'll certainly be doing the beach favor. <laughs> Yuck. Now you can take care of what you learned out onto the bay. Just look out for any dark areas in the water. Cast your net and uh, you're sure to find something. Hmm. hmm. Hey, Dad. I just saw Sarah at the boat shop. The, the two cats is ready to go. Mm. Hmm. For the record, I really don't like you sailing out there into the great blue yonder. Hmm. Why? Because of the monster? <sighs> Do not joke. Perhaps people lost their livelihoods to that thing. It's not a monster. I know that much. And we learn all we can from the shore. Mm. Then at least get a decent radio from the Haru shop. That way, if you get into trouble out there and in my tugboat and winch, you can call. Oh, that reminds me. I've never summoned to a meeting at the town hall. Wanna come along, Dad? I could introduce you to Mayor Tremblay. Very fancy. Well, I wear my best suit outfit. This one. <laughs> On the way, could you send home Casper? I'd rather not have both of you to worry about. <laughs> Be careful, I'll nail the water, Santin. I mean it. Huh. All right. It's gonna be a busy few days. Uh, what shall we tackle first? Well, let's speak to Sarah at the boat shop to get our trawler. 
Uh, there's a whole ocean out there to explore, and I'd like to get away for a while. Oh man, man, this has been so fun so far, and by the looks of it, uh, we keep on getting so many tasks and quests that we gotta keep on doing, uh, that I absolutely love. I mean, look at this, we got three pages of uh, tasks that we gotta keep on uh, trying to do here, and there's definitely gonna be a lot of work for us in order to get all these things done. And by the looks of it, uh, we also have the ability to throw this net again, because I really wanna get myself that bug. No, wait, how can I get the one? Dang it, I missed. Let me try it again. I want to try to get myself the last one. Ah, there we go. We got it. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. This game is going to have so much to it. It's not even fun. It's not even funny, I wanted to say, actually. Ooh, even more spawned in. Are you kidding me? Look at how many they are. I don't even know if I'm going to need all of them, but... I mean... Eventually, we are going to need this bait, right? Because we barely started the game. And, uh... <laughs> there we go, there's another one. We barely started the game, and we're not gonna have that many resources. There we go. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think this is gonna be the f the ending of the first episode of Moonglow Bay. And, uh, you know what? I am really enjoying this game so far. It has been, uh, quite a struggle a little bit here, trying to go through the tutorial. I mean, not really a struggle, but, uh, of course, the game kind of wants you to learn how to play it first. Because it has quite a bit of mechanics that you may have not known how to use, of course, unless you actually go through the tutorial here. But I'm really enjoying this one, and I cannot wait to actually go on the ocean in the next episode and keep on exploring this and see what else we can find. But anyway, guys, that being said, I hope you all enjoy this as much as I am. And of course, if you do, make sure you leave a like down below, as that helps the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are brand new here and have subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and consider doing that because I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more in the adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you're all going to enjoy. And if you guys want to grab this game for yourselves, there are going to be a few links down below in the description you can go ahead and check out. And not only that, but I'm also giving away one copy of the game for PC, of course. Uh, so in order to enter the giveaway, make sure you check out the link down below in the description. And that being said, Good luck, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one soon. Bye!